But yeah, I haven't looked at this at all. Nice cell shading. Welcome to Mars First Logistics. Since it's your first day on the job, spend a little time getting familiar with vehicle's controls. Woohoo! Oh, wow. Hold on. I love it already. Yeah. All right, that's excellent. Hang on, I gotta change the uh, the what game here. Not just running any Sable. I never played Sable. Ah, oh, this is awesome. All right, camera zoom. Good little tutorial too. Reset vehicle, hold R. Sweet. New contract, watering cam. Tab for map. You have a new contract in your inbox, accept it to proceed. Watering cam. From habitat to greenhouse. Wait, I'm I'm like an uh like an Uber or skip the dishes or something. Woohoo! And it clearly looks like we're gonna be able to build our vehicle here, which is one of the big things. I think you can make like your vehicle in the cranes and redesign it to go over different terrain. Yeah, Uber eats on Mars. Yeah, instant love on this game. Instant. Way better than Death Stranding already. I'm already gonna say this is like a hundred times better than Death Stranding. <laughs> All right, we're picking up a watering can. Oh! No, I have to actually pick up the watering can. We're Legos now, baby. I have a blueprint designed specifically for this job. Watering can lifter. Shit, yes. Your vehicle has controllable part. Hold C to see its controls. Servo motor, left and right click is what it's bound to. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Would have been easier if I hadn't knocked things down. Hold on, is there a second servo? Lower it? No, because this might be a little tricky. Okay. I love the sound effects too. Okay, it does say you can reset it, but no, I don't want to. All right, I, I will probably want to fairly soon. Gotcha! <laughs> Success! All right. Fast travel unlocked. All right. New contract crate. Oh, was it tab? Okay. Uh, from storage depot to greenhouse. I accept. Robot Wars on Mars incoming. I love that little sound. Making note here, huge success. Ooh, the crate's up on a on a shelf. Okay, we need Boston Dynamics over here. This is your inventory where all your parts are stored. Below each part, you can see how many you own, excluding those currently on the vehicle. Complete contracts, completing contracts earned you funds. You can see your current balance here. Press F to buy new parts using the hard earned funds. I already have two. Oh no, I still have to buy them. I guess these are how many are available. Okay, hang on, let me back out for a sec. So what do we feel the problem is? How are we gonna pick it up? I mean, obviously we need to be longer unless we can somehow get up there, but it looks like no. So 
hub parts. But we got connectors to make us longer. Okay, I see. Yeah, I'm thinking pincer would be nice. Also, if we wrote... Oops. Okay, so I can still buy, but I do have those. All right. Okay, there we go. Now I'm selecting. Um, right click to remove. All right. Do I have another servo? No, I don't have another servo. Now I could still theoretically pincer with one static part. But what if I... I do have two claws, but like, I don't have the means to flex them. You know, like I can, I can do something that sort of looks like a, the claw, but my controls are limited to this. Let's start, let's knock the crate off of this. Ooh. I'm sorry. That's actually kind of cool. But not gonna get the job done. Can I temporarily detach without, because we kind of just need a second length on this. Wait, you can knock over the rack? Or are you wondering? Oh, you're asking. I suspect the answer is no. But let's see. No. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to remove all that. Now, what I'm hoping for is that we don't fall over. Could have put the servo on the bottom, too. So we'd have a stick that could push forward, but we're just going to go and nudge this off there. And yeah, I'm definitely unsteady. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is this. I'm going to, I'm going to save this design. Load this blueprint. There's a shortcut. Can I knock the box over? There we go. No, too far. Now I can set up a pincer. Sort of. I mean, not the greatest, although I could buy more of these bits to do it, because right now just this one connector won't get the job done. And more, this is just gonna twist the box. So I don't expect this will actually work. Although, you know what? So it didn't pincer, but it helped keep it stable for a little while while we did this. 
So, I suspect that was not the correct solution. But if it's stupid and it works... Then claw to left of the rotating ones so they're parallel. New parts received. Blueprint unlocked. Crate carrier! Where was that a second ago? What is this, like a solenoid? Yeah, we didn't, we didn't have these parts, these hydraulic things. I guess they like, they make you, all right, you're gonna have to make something that sucks first. Oh, Q need to switch between channels. Oh. Sweet. Crate of oranges. All right, I love this game. Be racing around trying to jump off rocks. Oh, I don't know if I can with this front bit because I think we're just gonna plow into the side. Woo -hoo! Wait. Oh! Sorry, I got so used to bringing things here. Like we're bringing some oranges to a construction site. I guess that's what they're growing. Well, you can see the trees. This is like me trying to like drive into a parking spot. Oh, I think I have to grab it from the other side. I don't think this can open wide enough. the orange is going to fling out as I go. I like that it leaves the trails in the ground, too. More like pumpkins than oranges. Yeah, maybe we're tiny. No, they're just giant oranges. They're Martian oranges, so they're huge. Oh my god, they lift to get out of my way! Or just... When I'm around and things are... Hold on. They lift to get out of my way. How thoughtful. Oh, look at the little snack area. Aw. Ooh. New contract. Steel beam. You also have funds. Oh, side job, step ladder, supplies. From steel mill to construction site. Okay, let's start with the main contract. But it's entirely possible we'll have to do side contracts, especially, oh. There we go. Yeah, we got pay. We don't know if they unlock new parts or anything. Where's the nitrous button? All right, see, this is perfect. You know what we have to do is we gotta tie this in Kerbal Space Program, right? Thought about tying in Stationeer's Kerbal Space Program. This also ties into that. Yeah, <laughs> imposters. Yeah, one of those constructing workers is sus. Whoa! Oh no! Are oh, we gonna have to reset? No, we're good, we're good. All good. I guess when I'm traveling, I can just swap to uh, uh, a more stable design. All right, I wonder if we can pinch this one. It's quite long, so I am a little concerned that there's gonna be a center of mass issues.
So it works, although I am wondering what kind of other design we could do. Is that just a random smoke puff? Oh, maybe, maybe the end of the beam poked in. I wonder if I could have like, pulled it on to me. I mean, ideally a crane set up that puts it on a little flatbed. Friction on this claws is terrifying, right? Yeah. Maybe it's an electromagnet thing. We can pretend. I mean, <laughs> luckily, as a steel beam, it's probably not being damaged too much by banging an end into the ground like this. I wonder if it has to be in that shape. Does it have to be entirely within that area? In which case... Oh, it does! That's cool. Okay. So there's a few different ways we can go. First of all, if we had a big lifting crane, we could do it. But the other thing is... I'm... Whoa! Oh my god. That... Because all the weight is on a front tire, we just turned into a spinning top there. The other thing we could do is if we just put down on one end here, I wonder if we could just lift and flip it over. I mean, we'd still need incredible tallness. Yeah, so. Jaws. Bumper. Claw. Hydraulic cylinder. We don't have, well, we have few actually. Undo, redo. And I guess we just everything. Who needs a bumper? Because <clears throat> I can presumably chain a few of these. I think this will be bad for our center mass, but maybe I can add some dummy weight in the back. Hang it if I want to be able to pinch this way. Oh, right. No, that still doesn't do what I'm looking for. So then it's like, you know. do this without this kind of material setup I mean that can be there and I can do if I had one more which I can just go and buy then yeah we could have a little pinchy thing low. I wish I could just detach. Oh, copy. Copy. Huh. I might still need a little bit of an extender here. Hold on. Let me just see about getting a vibe for this. So 
we're gonna find out what the pinch power of this is. Not enough. Still, an idea. So clearly we wanna use the jaws. I like the little sounds. How do they attach? Yeah, so not in a way that would be tremendously useful in this context. I mean, yeah, the whole thing can twist around, but... I think we have to use the solenoids. I guess then what it could do, yeah, reload this and just get more of the extendo dudes for height. Although the problem is, even if I raise the bar up, right, it's gonna be a horizontal bar. I could let go of one end and the whole thing will fall down. Need to rotate, not lift. If I grab it, well, it's flat. Rotate to lift. If I have a little rotate in this joint here. How do we feel about that? Tall. Ah! No! Don't fall down! And it is too tall. But yeah, if we just let go of it and drop it in. No! <laughs> I think my front wheel's pinned. My rear wheels, oh, they do sort of work. Not great. something. There you go. Good enough. Yeah, the other thing is, as someone mentioned, I could maybe, like, put it leaning in something, like, use it to sort of... Yeah. Oh my god, this is a wonderful game. Telescope mirror. Unlocks buggy. I wonder if we can do this one. We gotta wrap up the stream in a second, but. Whoa! Oh, yeah, let me change this to the basic rover. 
Yeah. Get some air on this half pipe. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Hang on, are we just gonna do more of this on Monday? Oh, I can't believe it took me so long to play. Ooh, it's quite tall. I was gonna say this would be a good use case for just the simple water can lifter, but yeah, I think we need we need some more height on this. I think I may need to add some uh, mass to our ass. Look at the people working inside the building too. I mean, it works, but. I guess it just automatically sets things to turning or not turning. Yeah, just say counterbalance, but ass, master ass. I like it. That's what I'm going with. Now, this is still not the ideal gripper because it's still sort of. We're mostly going to be dragging this. But, you know, it's just a it's just a super sensitive space mirror, right? Dragging it's fine. Clang. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love this game. Nope. Actually might be a good case for like the, the extendable, the hydraulic cylinders. I was thinking of solenoids. Hydraulic cylinders, which makes sense for the size. Cylinders are quite small. There you go. This works. We're not quite. Oh, a crane with a flatbed truck on it. I just, I, I we gotta end the stream, but I want to see what the, uh, I want to see what the buggy looks like. <laughs> scrape, scrape, scrape. There's a button. Wait, I have to get it up there. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get out of it. Why can we always reset stuff? Woo! Elevator! Yeah, no, this is working great and perfect. Okay, doesn't look like it requires an orientation, which is good. Yeah, a slightly scratched face mirror. Yeah, it does look like skinning the finger, doesn't it? Okay, I want to see what this buggy that we just unlocked is. Oh, it's a new blueprint. Oh, new types of wheels and some angle connectors. So, okay, we unlock new blueprint, but more importantly, we unlock new parts. New contract rocket fins. Oh yeah, we got big chunky wheels. And lots of little bendy parts now. Yeah! Oh, Creative Apple's next. How does the fast travel work? Do I just click on a place? Oh, F. Oh, I can set waypoints. Okay, that's good to know. Hold F to fast travel. Nice. I think someone forgot their boots here. I'm pretending that's one of the quests. Or maybe they just took their boots off outside to not get any moon dust inside. I think that makes perfect sense with, um, you know, pressurization and stuff. Yeah, they built a spoiler on here because, you know, that's very important in a low atmosphere situation. All right. This game is fantastic. I give it 10 out of 10. 
We're 10 out, of, 10 out of 10 Brussels sprouts is what I give it. We're going to go ahead and rate it because for Lex channel right now. And we're going to see you on Monday and have no idea what we're going to do on Monday because I'm kind of liking all this. Folks, thanks everyone who came out. Thanks everyone who subbed and resubbed. Uh, the bits, the donations. Uh, that was really excellent. I'll see you on Monday, everyone. Bye-bye.